Hi, namaste. My name is Osi, and today we're going to do Ardha Chandrasana, a pose called Half a Moon. One of my uh, favorite poses to do. It definitely promotes balance. And I do it for self-confident. Who doesn't want to be confident? Totally. Have a healthy relationship with power. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come up. There's a different way of doing it. You can use a block. We might not need it, but always have one on the side in case we need it. We're going to come up uh, standing. And we're going to bring the right leg forward, fingertips in front, chest on your thighs. And then you're going to start balancing, kicking the back leg. Okay, the standing leg should be engaged, muscles hugging the bones. You're going to start engaging the back thigh, the toes even, spreading the toes, bringing the leg forward, bringing your sit bone back, thighs bone back, tailbone back. And then you're going to start moving the leg back and rooting your tailbone, engaging your core. Your whole core is going to start working. This is really nice for balancing, right? Then you're going to bring your arm up, shoulder back, chest open, and bring the back leg even a little bit higher. Root your tailbone more, shoulder back more, chest open, and smile. And to release, you're going to bring, turn your drishti, your eyes towards the floor, lower the back leg, chest to the thighs, hands to the floor. Maybe you want to go into downward facing dog. On the second side, we're going to do it from downward facing dog. So you can see how to come into Ardha Chandrasana from a different angle. So you're going to bring your, this time your left leg forward, chest is on the thighs, hand is forward, Kick the back leg, spread the toes in the back leg, engage the thighs of the standing leg. Again, bring the leg forward, sit bone back, thighs back, and then start rooting your tailbone, engaging your core, pushing your, pinning your left shoulder back, arms up, spreading your fingertips, lifting the leg up, spreading your toes, pressing the heel back, shoulder back, chest open. And release, hand to the floor, kick in the back leg, chest on the thighs, downward facing dog. And then this time, last one, we're going to do it with a block. So you can come from downward facing dog or from standing. You're going to put a block in front. And if you're still working on balance, Keep the eyes looking to the ground so you feel more rooted. And very slowly, again, start turning, turning. I feel actually that the block is less grounding. I don't like using block at all. Some people feel like it can really reach the floor. So peel the shoulder back, chest open. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a modification. I would even keep the hand on the thigh. Don't worry about bringing the arm all the way up. Shoulder back, chest open. Work more on the alignment of the muscles hugging the bone. The legs engaged. And then lower down. So it's kind of a tricky to use a block. You're getting more of the lift if you have difficulties bringing your hand to the floor. But the problem with it is that you kind of are losing the balance. When your hand is rooted and touching the floor, you feel so much more balanced. And that's really the purpose of this pose, balance and confidence. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much. Namaste. See you again. Bye.